everyone, this is Jag. In this video, I'm going to cover five tips to plant and grow fig trees. Now, fig trees are a treat and they're super sweet. So I have a fig tree here. It's a black mission fig. That's the variety I'm going with because black missions produce a lot as compared to any other variety of fig trees. So tip number one, the site selection. Now you want to be very careful on where you plant fig trees because they grow huge. They can go up to 25 to 30 feet up and they can span about 25 to 30 feet as well. So my row spacing and my tree spacing is both 20 feet. So if they grow 15 feet on one side and 15 feet on the other side of the trunk, that's 30 feet wide, I still have, you know, a little bit of the overlap but not too much. So. Be careful where you plant fig trees because they will become huge. When you are also planting fig trees and you want to select a site, you want to select a site with full sun. They love sun. And if you want to have fruit, big fruit that you actually want to eat and enjoy, you need to plant fig trees where they can get at least 12 to 14 hours of sun in summer. So they can produce a lot of fruit. Now, Let's move on to tip number two. And tip number two, dig a hole at least three times the size of the container. So I've already watered my area right here. So I'm going to just go ahead and dig my hole. It actually makes it easier to dig the hole if you water it first. Otherwise, it gets much hotter. So I'm just cutting through it like butter. There you go. So I'm going to put the drip line to the side. So I can work in here and after digging the hole put some compost all around the hole and a little bit in the hole as well next add a pound of organic fertilizer and you want to do this all around the perimeter of, of the hole you don't want to add any fertilizer inside the hole or just where the roots are because that can burn the plant so Put a generous amount of fertilizer all around the hole so that roots grow into the fertilizer and they can use all the nutrients. Finally, mix in all of this compost and fertilizer around the hole. And when we turn on the sprinklers, we just connect it to our drip tube. This will moisten all of this area and it will dissolve the organic fertilizer and all the nutrients will go into the ground and will be accessible to the plant. Next, take the fig tree out of the container. So I'm just going to pull it out and here's the fig tree and look at all the roots. These are some really nice roots. So you want to just scruff right around the root ball so that the roots are not bound into this shape and they can grow into your native soil. So you just want to scratch it up just a bit and then place the tree right in the hole making sure that the top of this um, this layer where the tree has been planted is flush with the level ground that you have here in my case this is a little bit higher so I'm just going to take a little bit of the dirt out there you go perfect now fig trees can sit a little bit lower than the ground and you don't have to plant fig trees on berms either because fig trees love water, which I'll cover in tip number three. So I'm going to use all of this dirt to backfill it in. There you go. And then I'm going to mix all the fertilizer and compost around the tree one more time and get rid of all the weeds around here as well. So I'm just going to level it off, keeping all of the fertilizer, most of it, away from the tree. And there you go. The fig tree has been planted. I'm going to press gently around the tree. And it's better to actually create a little bit of the depression around the tree so that the water stagnates here and goes deeper into the ground because fig trees love water. Now this leads us to tip number three, watering. Now fig trees absolutely love water. You never want to let your fig trees dry out. 
You never want to let the moisture level in your soil go below 50%. So how often and how much you should be watering the fig trees, I made a separate video about that, which I cover many different factors that are involved in watering. So check that out. And the major factor is your temperature and the type of soil that you have. So we have clay soil here, so I'm not going to be watering as often as if I had sandy soil. So even though I have clay soil, in summers I'll be watering this fig tree every single day. And I'll be providing at least one to two gallons of water depending on the temperature. And I want the water to go deeper into the soil, so I'm going to be using a drip line with a sprinkler that puts out a fan of water just around the plant and the water drips deeper into the soil for the roots to access. Since fig trees love water, do not plant your fig trees on berms. Just plant on a flat ground or make a little depression on the tree, which is opposite to creating berms to plant the fig tree so that water actually collects around the fig tree because fig tree absolutely love water, like I said before. So you don't want them to dry out. Fig trees tolerate heat well. However, they do not like winters below 15 degrees Fahrenheit and fig trees can die in extreme winter. So if you live in an area where you get snow and your winters get below 15 degrees Fahrenheit, protect your fig trees with greenhouse fabric or greenhouse cloth. Tip number four, mulching. Like I said before, fig trees love moisture and the best way to retain moisture in the soil is with wood mulch, which also disintegrates over time and provides nutrients into the soil as well and adds organic matter into the soil. So always use mulch around your fig trees. Tip number five, pest control. So now pests love figs, especially beetles and worms. They burrow into the figs and they start to eat figs from inside out. So you might have seen sometimes when you open figs, you will see some of the bugs inside the fig tree. So pest management is very crucial when you start having fruit on your fig trees. Now fig are one of those trees that'll start producing fruits very early. So I've even seen at some nurseries, you know, there are fig trees that are in container and they have figs on them. So you can also grow fig trees in containers as well and you will get fruit. And the fig trees, like this fig tree, will start having fruit next year. So as soon as I start seeing figs on my fig tree, I'll be spraying my fig tree, including the figs, with organic pest control, which contains neem oil and pure castile soap. And I also use BT spray and spinosad spray, which targets worms as well. So you want to be using these pest controls almost every week since you start getting figs on your fig tree. Otherwise, you're going to lose your figs. But these trees will produce a lot of figs, a lot more than your family can consume. So plant a fig tree, eat lots of figs, and be prepared to share lots of figs with your family and friends as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in another video.